What's up, YouTube? This is D. And I'm Jay, and welcome to another episode of My JD Anime Academia. If you're new to this channel, please uh, like, subscribe, and press that notification bell to get more content like this. Yep, and what are we going to be doing in today's video? So, in today's video, we're going to be doing a like and dislike of a character video. So basically what we're going to be doing is we've prepared some names from all the animes that we've been doing in our channel. And yep. we're going to be drawing five or seven names. And for each of these names that we draw, we have to describe like what we like and what we dislike about this character and to give as much detail as possible. Exactly. So, yeah, so we'll get to that after this intro. Alright, so as we said before, we're going to be drawing from a pool of names that are identical for me and for D, and we're going to have to describe a like and a dislike for this character. So who wants to go first? I'll let you go first. Alright, so I guess I'll be picking from the name first. So, so tell me when to stop. Stop. Pedro! Uh, okay. All right. All right. So for Pedro, what I like about this character is that he's very loyal to like the Straw Hat Pirates, even though he hasn't, you know, met them for very long. And to be honest, I don't think there's anything that I dislike about this character. He's a great right. character, and uh, honestly, I it's just sad that he had to die. Agreed. So I guess it's my turn to pick from the hat. This time I'm actually using an actual hat. Okay, so let me just let me just go do it. Uh, tell me to stop. Stop. All right. What did I get? Uh, Katakuri. Oh, good one. Good one. Uh, okay, for this character, I like his devil fruit. It's very cool. It's like, what is it, like, uh, mochi. mochi. Yeah. Mochi. It's, it allows him to be very versatile in his attacks. And he sort of acted as a good obstacle for Luffy to overcome because he became a lot more stronger because of him. I like how, like, when he loses, he has, like, respect for Luffy at the end. That's pretty cool. You know, he's not, like, toxic like all the other guys are. Uh, that even though he wants to defeat Luffy. The one thing I'd say I don't like about him is that he's pretty cold. Yeah, other than that, I don't know. I don't really have anything I dislike about him, so I think that's it for me. So, uh, my second turn. Uh... Tell me when stop. Stop. Ichigo. <laughs> All right, go on ahead. So what I like about Ichigo is that he's very hardworking in improving his skills. I like also how he would go out of his way just to save a friend, whether it means to travel from different worlds. What I like about this character is how like he acts like so surprised whenever he sees people from the Soul Society coming to visit him at the school. Like I like how how in bear like the, the reactions that he gives us when he's about to quit a class just to go fight a monster. I find that funny. Yeah, it's definitely very funny. Honestly, I don't really have anything that I would dislike about this character. I think one thing about Ichigo that I dislike is how he doesn't really know when to quit. He's like, he could be injured and such, but he, he still wants to go and fight and such. I mean, I know he's got like plot armor, but I'm pretty sure this guy should have died so many freaking times. But remember the time when, when he was like injured, like after fighting Kenpachi and after that he goes and goes ahead and I think it's like one of the first times we, we see like Byakuya Kuchikiki in the Soul Society and such and he, he breaks out of the floor and then you hear the soundtrack number one and that's the first time I actually heard that song and I was like yeah you know Ichigo just he's pretty selfless and I like that 
you know, because he wants to help others, like his mom. All right, I guess I'll go next. So let me let me go through the hat. Tell me when to stop. Stop. The flamingo. He has a cool devil fruit. I like how he was able to awaken the devil fruit. Also, he looks kind of fly. You can say that uh, with his uh, outfit. You know, he's got like feathers and all that. I don't like the kind of personality that he has. He's an asshole. And the way that he got power in uh, Dress Rosa was really bad. The measures he goes through in order to like achieve power, I don't agree with. This is an asshole. <laughs> Other yeah. than that, I, I like him for his abilities. He has a pretty shit personality though. Anyways, I mean, also I would say that Luffy facing him off there allowed him to sort of show us like your fourth for the first time, which was cool. All right, go ahead, Jay. Alright, tell me when to stop. Stop. Sasuke. Alright. So, I'm gonna start with what I dislike about Sasuke. I hate how Sasuke would just leave everybody, and I don't like that he's very, like, heartless towards Sakura, even though, like, in the beginning, like, when he, when she would try to, like, help him, he would sort of, like, brush her off, or like to talk to her rudely so that's what i don't like about it because sakura really tries to like care for him and he just would brush her off at the beginning so that's what i don't like what i like about sasuke is that he's very calm in battle and very calculated with his move and everything and also i like that he was the top of his class in the academy Another thing I don't like about Sasuke is that he doesn't seem to remember like the good times he would have with his comrades and his team to the point that he would almost kill them. But I'm gonna stop. Stop. Green Joe Jagger Jack. I like his style. He has, he has cool hair and his makeup. Also the fact that he has a cool personality. I like how he's so cocky and such and he thinks that he just can beat anybody. I don't know, he was very entertaining to watch and I think that's probably why you see him in the last arc making an appearance because he's one of the favorites of the community. What I don't like is that, well, he's kind of a dickhead and uh, He's too obsessed with like beating Ichigo and such. To a point where like after Ichigo fights Ukiara or like for like a brief second, like he has Orohime heal him so he can fight him. Also the fact that he has like a tiger-like uh, resurrection form. Also pretty cool. I mean his resurrection form is kind of takes away his appearance. Looks like um, you know like an animal and such and it looks a little bit feminine. And again, you know, he does wear eyeshadow. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Okay. Stop. Jimbei. What I like about this character is that he really wants to be a part of Luffy's crew and I find it really amazing that he admires Luffy and and wants to be a part of his crew. That I really like. What I like about this character is that he's adding more to the diversity of Luffy's crew. Yeah. And um, and that he admires uh, Luffy so much that he he's willing to sacrifice maybe a leg, uh, an arm, even though it didn't happen or to get a part of his lifespan removed just so that he could join his crew. And I like his uh, Fishman Crony. Stop. Tsunade. What do I have to say about Grandma Tsunade? I like how, obviously in the beginning she was selfish, but as we progress in the show, she became very selfish and caring. And she was one of the adults that was on Naruto's side. She wanted Sasuke to be returned back to the village alive. She didn't want him to die. And I like that. Obviously, she cares a lot about Naruto because Naruto 
was there, you know, when Orochimaru uh, wanted to kidnap uh, Tsunade, bring her to heal his arms and such. And he basically saved her and she basically repaid the favor that way. One thing I don't like about Tsunade is that, yeah, she tends to get very selfish. Her gambling and her drinking is very destructive. I don't think that uh, those kind of behaviors would be good of like a Hokage, but you know what? Uh, she did well in that role. You didn't let that get to her. All right. All right, stop. They got Nagato. All right, so what I like about Nagato is that I like how he uses people's bodies to mask his identity, like through the use of pain. I find that very, like, mysterious and creative. Impressive. I like how he understands so much, like, about the reality of life, and you can understand why he's he's doing the what it is that he's doing through the Akatsuki so I like how he's like very knowledgeable about like the problems that are in the world of the ninja and how he explains that to Jiraiya when he sees him I guess what I don't like about this character is that maybe he got a little too carried away with his understandings about how the world is plagued by wars and things like that stop Naruto. For Naruto, I like how even though he's been bullied all of his life, he still cares a lot about the village to work hard to try to get stronger and protect the village. So I like that. He's not giving up on his friends, any friends for that matter, and Sasuke in general. He cares a lot about him to the point where one time he was hyperventilating having like a panic attack and such. And Sasuke literally went with Orochimaru, trained, and then, you know, he was just in darkness the entire time. And he also blames himself that he couldn't bring him back. So I like how he, he worked hard to try to bring his friend back and didn't give up on him. I think that if it wasn't for Naruto, Sasuke probably wouldn't have come back or been stopped in general. So I like that. And also I like how he's able to befriend the Nine-Tailed Fox. Like, those two did not get off on the right foots in the in general and it took a while before they actually even created a bond i mean like the nine tails wanted to use naruto and naruto using the nine tails but then after that when naruto bests the nine tails and such he learns to befriend him and kurama he gains the respect for naruto because he actually does care for tail beasts and such he cares for everybody the stuff i don't like about naruto is that naruto has a lot of potential but in his early life he was sort of like a very big underachiever like in shippuden he was like overconfident i think and you know he's complete opposite of sasuke i mean i can mention sasuke was like pretty level-headed and being like a, a few steps ahead of the competition naruto is like the opposite of that kind of gets his ass kicked a little bit then he's able to use like techniques to be able to defeat the bad guys you know the Akatsuki yeah then that I think those are just character flaws I just dislike and that's it Okiora <laughs> All right, so what I like about old Kiora is I like the character design and I like how he has no expression on his face. So I like how strong he is and also I like how he's able to do things efficiently and effectively. And I like his resurrection forms. What I don't like, he doesn't show any emotion, which is what he represents, obviously, in Bleach, like nothingness, which is an aspect of death. He told Orihime to like eat this food or he'll shove it down his throat, so he could be very cold. But I like his character design and how he's able to like defend or like fight in battle. Yeah. Well, that's it for me. All right. Well, I'll do. I'll do Tony Tony Chopper. 
I like the design for Chopper. Chopper looks really cool. Chopper is a very caring individual. He puts uh, the needs of others in front of his. Obviously, like he's a doctor. He always tries his best and uh, wants to live up to his doctor, mentor. I like his multiple forms. He's definitely very good with medicine. He's able to create like a drug that's able to give him enhanced human abilities. It has the human fruit. He has multiple forms. Stuff I don't like about Chopper is that he can use the rumble ball and all that and he's able to change into these very powerful forms and such. The only thing is that his most powerful forms, the ones that are like very useful, are only like usable for like a certain period of time and then he has to rest, which I'm not too into that because he doesn't face like opponents that are too strong and such. Yeah, that's it. I really don't have that much stuff to say. I like Chopper. All right, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this segment of my JD Anime Academia. So we're going to be going on hiatus very soon. We will be posting a filler video very soon. If you haven't already, please hit that notification bell to receive notice of more great content like this and to share this video with your friends and anyone that you may know. And please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right, see you guys.